Welcome to the Mighty Baker Podcast. I am Pete Tidwell, your host. I am a custom cake artist, bakery business coach, certified life coach, and the CEO at my bakery business, the Mighty Baker. You might have seen me winning Food Network's Cake Wars, competing on Halloween Baking Championship, or have tasted one of my delicious custom cakes or desserts. Either way, I am so happy that you're here today. I'm obsessed with the art of baking and caking, but I'm even more passionate about helping others live a happy life. Join me here every Wednesday as I share highlights and learnings from my ongoing journey as a bakery business owner. I will also be sharing positive mindset tips and business and life tips along the way, as well as inviting some of my baker friends that I have met over the years on TV baking competition shows. It's going to be a blast and we are going to have so much fun because here in the world of the Mighty Baker, cake is life. So come on, and let's jump right in the mixing bowl and see what is being mixed up and discussed in this week's episode of the Mighty Baker Podcast. Let's go. Um, Okay. Okay. Um, Okay. Okay. Hey, what's up, you guys? Pete Tidwell here with the Mighty Baker Podcast. This is episode 34, and we are going to dive right into this. So as we get to the end of 2022, I talked about this a couple episodes ago, is normally I take a bit of an inventory at the end of the year and look over my business and look over you know, what went well, what didn't go well, what could we shift just a little bit and try again and see if it works differently? Um, what kind of things, business activities do we need to stop doing entirely? Um, or which areas could we see an opportunity that we want to try to go into a little bit? So I try to do some of those strategy sessions every year to figure out where I'm going next year in my business. But this year, I really wanted to come up with some mantras or thoughts or a theme to kind of help with my year. And I was getting some coaching from my coach, Dave Moreno, and he's incredible. He's changed my life. His coaching has helped me change my life. So it has just been incredible. Through his coaching, I've been able to make leaps and bounds um, with my self-belief and what I've done in my business. And I owe a lot of thanks to him and um, encouraging me to make those strides. But through coaching... It was incredible. He came up with these few um, sayings and few things that he was talking about, and they were very in line with some themes and things that I've been thinking about. And I'm like, you know what? We're just going to adopt these for my 2023. So if you want to take these and run with them, because these can apply to anybody in whatever context you want, or you can create your own for this next year. But I'm going to go through what I created and what I wrote down that I'm going to be reminding myself of every day. I have it right here in front of my computer so that I can read it anytime I want to. So the first one is let go. Second one is keep going. And last one is have fun. So I'm going to go through each of these. Let's talk about them. All right. So the first one is let go. And I chose let go. Instead of, you know, let's go, that's a good one as well, right? Like, let's go, it's got a lot of motivation into it. Um, And maybe I can have that in the back of my mind. But I decided to write let go, because for me, I have a few things that I want to let go and remind myself to let go as I'm going through this next year. I want to let go of negative self-talk. I want to let go of that failure or flaw that I beat myself up about all the time let it go. Look at it from a different perspective. That's a really interesting thing right there because I have I have plenty of things in the past that I could and sometimes do beat myself up about, like having to close down a bakery shop or whatever it may be. But it's interesting because you look at those things from a different perspective and I wouldn't be where I'm at today if I didn't go on the path that I did. If I didn't have that failure or that setback or that thing not happen, I would have been in a very, very different place. And looking at it from a different perspective helps you to not beat yourself up about it, right? There's so many things like that 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 we do 
and that we don't let go of and that we keep just like rehashing out and just let it go. Be free. Let it go. Um, and also too, let go of the feeling of not being enough or not fully believing in yourself. That's the number one thing, you guys, everybody listening to this, including myself, like that's the thing that is in the way of anybody and everybody succeeding is not fully believing in yourself. That right there, there is nothing else in the way. Let's like in order to be able to achieve some of the goals that we're working towards. And yeah, all of our goals are different and we have a different set of circumstances and sometimes it doesn't look the same for everybody and it looks very different for some people. And, but the thing that holds people back is not fully believing in themselves and the things that hold people back from believing in themselves is because they have so much ammo or past things that they beat themselves up about. They have enough proof or evidence to not believe in themselves. But if we can let those things go and more fully believe in ourselves and let go of the small little things, the small drama that that we give to random things in our life and our business, that that would help us so much right there. So let go is a big one of mine. So in order to or what you do after you let go is you let go so that you can move forward in your business and in your life and you can keep going, which next us to the second one, keep going, keep mustering up the courage and the self-belief to take the actions necessary to always move forward regardless of failure and setbacks. It's kind of a lot there, but keep going keep moving forward. You know, and sometimes when you're moving forward and working really hard, like don't, don't go crazy. I do this. Like you got to take a break. You can't just keep go, 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 and never taking a break break. Because if you do that and you push yourself too hard, you will burn yourself out and you'll experience some of the things that I've experienced in my life. I've had multiple stages in my life of burnout as, as a business owner, and they're not fun. They're not fun to get to. So as you're keeping going and you're always taking actions towards and you're working through those failures and finding the learnings in your failures and moving forward, don't forget to take a break so that you can process the emotions that you are having because Being a business owner is not an easy thing. They're going to be frustrations. You're going to have self-belief issues. You're going to have negative self-talk. You're going to have those things that are going to come up. And you need to battle those. So don't just keep going and push through and not feel the emotions because the more you bottle those in, later they're just going to come out in different ways that are not helpful to you or anybody around you. So as you're going through and keep going and pushing forward, remember to take a break, especially when you do have things that you're very upset about or sad about or happy about. Make sure you're celebrating. Celebrate the wins, but make sure you process those emotions. If you had something really horrible happen in your life or your business, make sure you take a break to fully experience and process those emotions. I have some early episodes in my podcast that are about processing emotions and they're very helpful to go through. Um, But that's something that I work on and as an ongoing thing to make sure that I can operate and show up the way that I want to show up in my life. But keep going, move forward, keep going such a big thing. So many people get stopped in our tracks or get caught in mind drama and then we don't keep going. And then in like months go by and we haven't done anything. So just reminder to always keep going and be patient. It's going to take a little bit of a process, but nothing's going to happen if we don't keep going and take action. And also nothing like in the long run, if you don't take a break, that's also going to not be a good thing. So make sure you take breaks as you go through. Schedule me time. And we're going to have an episode about that for sure. But schedule time on your calendar for you. 
not you like like with doing business things or uh, like you time, just you doing whatever you want because that's very important because as a business owner, you feel very lonely sometimes. So the next one is have fun. This is a reminder for everybody, you guys. Have fun in your life and in your business. If you're not having fun, and I've caught myself many times in my life when I'm not having fun. If you're not having fun, what are we doing? Like life should be fun, filled with happiness and joy. And yeah, disappointment, horrible things happen. Life's 50-50. I also have an episode about that. Go back and listen to it. But like, let's enjoy our life and enjoy what we're doing. Ask yourself the question, why did you start your business? Do you still love your business? And if you don't love your business, let's figure out why and then work on it and get you to the point where you do love your business and you want it to grow and you want to do this. But if you started a cake business, if you started a dessert business, if you started any kind of food business in general, you most likely started it because you love that food or you're good at making that food or you have a special skill within a particular um, food category. And you opened it because you love that food. You love it so, so much. But then you created a business about it and then it became bigger And then all of a sudden it became stressful and you have all these things going on and you are a little bit shell shocked because you're like, no, like I want to spend my time doing the specialty thing that I like to do, but my business is stressful and it's growing and has all these crazy things going on. Like let's figure out if that's the case and your business is growing too fast and you're not enjoying your business anymore and you're not having fun. Let's figure it out. You can figure it out and you can get back to that point where you love and have passion for your business. Remember, have fun. And like I said, this is this episode is a very big reminder for me. So I can go back and listen to this throughout this year. And a reminder to all of you out there. Remember, have fun building your dream. Have fun living your life. Have fun creating the life that you want. Have fun loving yourself and loving those that are in your life. Like I said, take a break. Love yourself. Take those breaks. Celebrate all the wins, small or mammoth. Celebrate hard and use those celebrations of those wins to deeply root that self-belief that you need and that you will need if you want to be on this entrepreneur journey and you want to even run just one business or two businesses or just grow a cake business from home. That self-belief, when you have those wins and you celebrate those, let that be the roots that go down for your self-belief and let it be deep-rooted, right? So that when you do get to those hard times and you have failures and setbacks, you have that belief to grasp onto. And it's a strong belief where it's like, oh yeah, well, we got these things down well. It's all good. I can do this. I believe in myself. I got this. Boom, going into it. The way that you keep momentum going in your business and in your life is celebrating the good times, enjoying the moments. See, I like that. Momentum. How do you keep the momentum going? I've never noticed that before, but the word moment is in the word momentum. And I really, really like that because in the moment, when you have these moments of success and these moments of of wins and moments that you believe in yourself so deeply and you would do anything in that moment to fight for your business and to show up and you just would be there if you could just keep that moment alive. That's what momentum is. It's keeping that moment alive, keeping that excitement alive, deep rooting that belief system that you have in yourself so that you can keep the momentum going 
Keep the moment going. Oh, I love it. That's beautiful. Keep the moment going. That is good stuff, you guys. Anyway, so, and the other thing I wanted to mention too is especially keep the momentum going and celebrate the wins, even especially through failures and setbacks. I know that may sound a little bit funny, but through every failure, through every setback, through everything that doesn't go right, in your opinion, your business, you can find the most valuable information and learnings that will help you move your business forward to the next level. All we need to do is just look at those failures and setbacks, take our break, be disappointed, be mad, be angry, whatever. Let it last a moment for a few minutes if you need to be angry about something that really went wrong in your business. But then jump right back in and look at that failure and say, hey, this is what happened. Don't judge yourself for it. Look at it from from a, a perspective, right? This is what happened in my business. This is what went wrong. This is where we are. This is what we can learn from the failure and then apply that to your business and move forward. Let it go. Let go of the failure. Learn from the failure. Keep going and have fun. And let's build our businesses and have fun in them and enjoy our actual life. And maybe just answering ourselves, ask ourselves the question, who am I and who do I want to be? That's an important thing. Find that out. Who am I and who do I want to be? And then if your business is in alignment with that, great. If it's not, shift it. Make sure it's going towards what you what you want. So as we go, I could go on this for a few more minutes, but I'm not going to. I think I'm going to end here today. But as we end this year, I am reminding myself and all of you out there to let go. Let go of those things that are in your way of succeeding in your life. Keep going, keep pushing forward, even though it feels like you may not be moving very quickly or success is not coming or you're wasting your time or whatever, keep going, keep moving forward and have fun. Remember to have fun in your life and in your business. Remember the moments and keep those feelings from those moments going throughout your life. That's why I wanted these these three let go, keep going, and have fun because I want these. That's the momentum that I want in this coming year. That's it right there if I encapsulate it all together. So keep, let go, keep going, have fun. And this coming year, 2023, is gonna be incredible. And I'm super, super stoked for the Mighty Baker. And I'm super, super stoked for all of you that are listening and will listen to this in the future because... I know there's a lot of people that have a business, whether it's a dessert business or whether it's some other side business, making wallets or something. All these businesses apply. All these business principles apply to all these different ones. And I hope that all of you can have success in this coming year and that you can do what's necessary in your life to believe in yourself a little bit more deeply so that you can grow and that you can grow your business and be able to grow the life and create the life and the business that you want. Anyway, you guys are awesome. Hope you had an amazing holiday season. I hope you enjoy your New Year's Eve and your Happy New Year's, and we will see you and next week. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. Season two is going to be incredible, so please keep joining us. The Mighty Baker has a lot of exciting things going on. Head to themightybaker.com or follow us on social media at The Mighty Baker to stay updated on what we have coming down the pipeline. 
Are you or someone you know a bakery business owner? If so, you got to check out my bakery business coaching. I am now taking on one-on-one clients and helping them create sweet success in their bakery business and their life. Head to bakerybusinesscoach.com to learn more about my coaching program and sign up for a free 30-minute coaching session. I want to coach you on any bakery business problem that is holding you back from growing and from enjoying your everyday life. Please join us next time on the Mighty Baker Podcast. This is your host, Pete Tidwell, signing off and reminding you to make your day a mighty one. (music) 